Hi, so I'm going to show you how to make a custom drum kit using the ESX24 sampler. So I've, I'm just going to create a new instance of the sampler. Um, I'm not going to open the library because we're going to be creating our own instrument. But um, rather than having an empty channel strip, I've gone down to the ESX24 sampler and I'm going to have a stereo version. So we click create will pop up just gonna send it out here just so you guys can hear it this is just for this purpose of my video nothing that you need to do okay so we've got our ESX 24 I'm going to go to the edit window and it brings up all of our keyboard and it brings up uh, this area here okay so I've got some samples over in finder here um, these are kind of based on uh, the early kind of electro type sounds you'd hear in the 80s in tracks like Blue Monday by New Order. So we've got a bass drum, just previewing these by clicking on the sample and hitting spacebar. Okay, so there are our samples we're going to use. So um, I need to know what keys to put them on. Now this is quite important because you will have noticed as you skip through all the, the preset instruments that come bundled when you buy Logic, you'll find that the kick drums are always on the same key, the snare drums, etc., the hi-hats. And what it means is you can, free, you can freely kind of switch between kits with the same MIDI parts and all you'll hear is your MIDI part um, but played with a different instrument sound. So we're going to try and follow that. So this uh, dates back to the days of when there was a thing called General MIDI, um, which was some pretty crummy sounding uh, uh, drum sounds and instrument sounds, but the, uh, the mapping system was really handy. So I've just downloaded a, a MIDI drum map and it shows you where all the different uh, drums should be placed on which keys okay so we're going to start our bass drum it's going to go on the key c1 so we drag that on c1 our snare drum is going to go on d1 and then we'll go for our closed hi-hat which will go on F sharp one our open hi-hat which will go on A sharp one and then last but not least we've got our clap which will go on D sharp one okay so you can decide whether you want to have these samples um, being one shot or, or not okay so at the moment they're all defaulted to being one shot so when I play the key it's, it's going to play the samples for their full duration which for these purposes I think is absolutely fine so let's save uh, Save this and I will call this 80s Electro Drums. Click save and then we've got our, our instrument which we could then go in and start sequencing with. So you may choose to Make yourself a little pattern. So just a quick one, not even sure what it's going to sound like, but hey. Okay, so there we go. Might want to change the tempo, etc. But yeah, there we have it. 
uh, our own custom drum kit in the ESX24. Hope this has been useful. Thanks for listening.